In November of 2020, after the country was drenched by heavy rainfall, this area of Fort Road, prone to flooding, created havoc for residents. The gutter runs through the community, through to York's, has been a menace to those living in the area for many years. Work has been ongoing to rectify the flood problem. It is one of the many sites within the constituency visited by Prime Minister the Honorable Gaston Brown, an MP for the area, the Honorable Melford Nicholas, on the routine inspection. A problem, and uh, we are now getting a sustainable solution for that. I um, mean, as much as we're building the culverts, the culvert is only one part of the of the. Uh, responses that we're doing. Uh, we have to clear some of the, the drain fields on both sides of the drain to be able to uh, conduct the ongoing maintenance. Uh, one of the issues that we're going to have to deal with is the, the debris that often gets into the drain and the vegetation that normally uh, builds up on the both sides of the drain. So we're going to have to um, deal with the whole question of clearing some of the land and uh, getting some of the persons who live on the edge of the drain to, to set back their fences to give us that public space to be able to keep the drains clean. Several bridges, drains and roadways will be reconstructed before the end of the year. It's one of seven that are going to be uh, renovated. So this is the first one. There are two under uh, development now. I believe they'll be pouring uh, the second um, bridge tomorrow and the one following. And um, when that is completed, probably towards uh, the middle of next month, they will again attempt another, um, this particular contractor will attempt another a little further down, maybe another 200 yards down uh, from those two. And then, of course, the public works as well will be attempting to uh, complete three of the other bridges inside uh, the community. And, of course, the last of the bridges would be done at uh, the junction between ourselves and, and the Yorks community. Prime Minister the Honourable Gaston Brown was visibly pleased by the work being done to help the people of City East. Major improvement. Uh, you'd recall when we had the floods um, late last year, this area was totally underwater. I would say maybe about a good three feet. I mean, I actually had difficulties driving here, driving through here during that period. And I think it's a major achievement for the current representative, the Honourable Melford Nicholas. This is a project that um, the uh, previous representative, um, Harold Lovell, had promised for over a 10-year period, failed to deliver. And it shows very clearly that when members of the Labour Party make these pledges, that they're determined to bring them to fruition. So I certainly want to commend the representative, the Honourable Melford Nicholas, and the Ministry of the Environment as well, for the work that they've been doing to put in all these culverts and to build these um, bridges in order to reduce or eliminate the flooding that would have taken place in this community over the past several decades. The Honorable Melford Nicholas says the routine inspection is a part of the accountability system as funds are made available for community development and it is clear the work is being done. Terry Andrew, ABS News.